Jono's walked out of school too. If I'm breaking the rules, then, I don't know, tough titties on, on, on the rector. What? Oh, well. Everyone needs a cigarette. Yes, Jono, you've been busted by a parent. She's on the phone. <laughs> All this conflict and our Aussie teens haven't even started school yet. Speaking of school, there's a little issue of the dress code we need to take care of. I don't like it at all. You look good, man. Thank you. Good. Apparently, in the hallways, you can only walk on the left side and if you walk on the right side, you get a detention. That's what type of school this is. Look at this shit I have to wear. Like, there's like 10 uniforms for one day. Must make sure as a mother that my child is looking fine. Must make sure that he is neat. I must make sure that he is clean. When you are neat to the community, it tells you that you are responsible. You know how these socks are? Look like a f bus driver. Can I wear them up here? <clears throat> they must be here. Bailey, I can see she wants to be a lady, and maybe she is a lady where she comes from. But today, she's going to be a school girl. This one is taking your, 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 your what? Would you put this? Oops. Mm, taking them out. So you must uh, um, you're not allowed to have your bra showing. And because I was wearing a black lacy bra, you can, like, see. And, yeah, you're not allowed to for some reason. Jono was going to school with Bonelli at the Grey High School. It's extremely prestigious. Welcome. Thank you, sir. Welcome to the Grey High School for young men. And extremely strict. I'd like to think that we have helped create the all-round young man, so we take no prisoners. If a man misbehaves, he will experience the wrath of uh, the rules and regulations, of which we are very proud. I mean, he said that one cannot function without discipline. That's... I, oh, that makes me shiver. There is all up 40 rules that I have to follow. They're pre all pretty hard and strict. 40 rules is a lot to follow for an unruly teenager. Jono's walked out of school too. If I'm breaking the rules, then, I don't know, tough titties on, on, on the rector. Everyone needs a cigarette. Yes, Jono, you've been busted by a parent. She's on the phone. <laughs> and you can bet she's either calling Portia or the principal. Jono doesn't know yet, but Portia has found out about his smoking. Jono, can you look at me, please? You were told at school that Smoking is not allowed, not so. Mm -hmm. And then, wearing a full school uniform, a parent saw you smoking. <sighs> a couple of cigarettes is not gonna hurt anybody. They're just cigarettes. Yes. That's all they are. They aren't, yes. they aren't drugs. But my problem is that you smoked wearing a grey uniform, grey school I, I don't uniform. even go to the school. Right. Why does that make any difference? I'm, I'm not it going... It does make a difference. To the name of the school? For the, to the name of the school. Because to I care. To this family. <sighs> to this family. But I'm not a part to of your you. family. Fine. You are a grey boy because you are wearing a grey a grey <sighs> uniform. It comes to us as a family. And it comes to the school, the family, the grey family. But I'm, what I'm trying to say, how serious what you did is. I, I, I want you to understand that. I just want you to understand that, that that is very serious. There is no excuse for having disgraced Gray. You have been trying to hide the fact that you are rude, the fact that you are not honest. And rude and manipulative 
And, you know, undisciplined kids still need cigarettes. Now you will be uh, making up the kitchen and washing the dishes. Uh, Jonna, you can go. Because I sit there and just f***ing try and just say, or oh, not, you can't smoke. It's inevitable. Like, of course I need to smoke. It's, I'm, a, I'm a smoker. I couldn't give two f without disrespecting. Uh... Today, I'm shocked. Then if I'm shocked about the cigarettes, tomorrow I may be shocked about drugs.